Hi, I'm going to demonstrate how to make one of these really thick, chunky knit velvet. You just don't make the bases big, but this yarn is so thick it stands up really well. This took an entire skein of this sage color to make that basket. This basket, which is like flatter, I used almost a skein of the silver and then just a piece of the ivory. And when I did the ivory, I did it tighter. So it kind of curved it in to make sort of a bowl. So, but they're very sturdy. You can put a lot of things in them. So um, for this one, I'm using red. So you start off, I tied it because it tends, to, it's got a lot of different pieces in it. So I tied the end, you just make a slip knot like this, probably like one and a half, two inches, okay? Then I'm just gonna do a chain of three, so two and then three. I don't know if you can see that. So it's a chain of three. Okay, now I put my finger in the end, the final chain, and then you locate the first chain, the middle chain, you don't do anything with it. So you're worried about your first one and the last one. I put my finger through the first one, my working yarn. Okay, I'm, I normally would hold on to this, but this first chain hole, you're gonna pull the yarn through like you're doing a knit stitch, okay? Then I've got my last one and you're gonna Put them together. See how I have two on my finger? I'm going to pull the yarn through. That is called a single crochet. All right. I'm going to do that six times total through this same hole, this first hole. Six times. So I've done it once. Pull it through. So I have two loops on my finger and pull the working yarn through to one loop, okay? Again, there's that first hole. I'm gonna pull my yarn through to make a loop, hook it on this finger, Put my working yarn through to one. Through, and then through two loops. Pull it through, and two through, through two loops. Let's see how many I've got here. One more. So I'm gonna pull through, put it on my finger, then pull my working yarn per, through both of those loops, all right? And when you're done, you'll kind of have like a rosette flower kind of a nautilus shell look that's really pretty okay now locate your tail or if you want to put a clip if you want to put a clip here because you're going to go around and for every time you circle around you're going to increase and decrease the amount of stitches i just keep an eye on where this little tail is but some people like to mark it so we're going to be working with this outer these outer V's, okay? So here's my knot, all of these V's, okay? If it's laying down flat, I'm only gonna be working now with the bottom, which would also be the outer loop. So I'm gonna take this, my working yarn. There's my last loop, putting it through my finger. Some people put their hand, but I like it tight. So um, I'm gonna take this outer loop. Okay, put your tail, the tail needs to be down, like on the bottom. Put it down underneath it. You're gonna do the same thing you did. I'm gonna pull it through, put it on my finger, and pull it through. Now, I'm gonna double the circumference of this circle. To do that, I have to do two of those single crochets 
in every single outer loop. So that was one in this first outer. Now I'm gonna do my second one in the outer loop, okay? So that's two. Now I go to my next, my next V. You can see this V, the outer one, not both. You're gonna do that later, just this outer one. I'm gonna pull it through, put it on my finger, and then pull my yarn through both. Oop, slippy. Okay, again, I have to do it twice. So pull it through, pull it through both yarns. And this, this yarn is super, super soft and slippery. Okay, I'm going to the next loop, the outer loop. I'm pulling it through once to make it single crochet. The same outer loop again. And two. I'm going to the next V. I'm gonna pull it through the outer loop onto my finger, make a loop, and pull it through. You gotta do it again. Pull it through. Okay. Go into this one. <clears throat> Pulling it through. I'm gonna do two in each of these. Okay. Now I'm gonna keep it on my finger and double check. Okay, where's my there's my little tail, so I'm not quite there yet. There's my tail. I have one, two more loops. So four more stitches. The outside again, I'm gonna pull it through, put it on my finger, pull it through. And there's two single crochets. Okay, there's my tail, and this is my last one. So I'm gonna pull it through twice. And so I've doubled, because I'm going white, it's gonna get bigger and bigger, I have to double it. Okay, so this is my second one. All right, now I'm done with this, this round. See how it's kind of made a Nautilus? Okay, for the blankets, I mean, oh, bleh, I'm so used to blankets. For the baskets, I'm just gonna do it one more time. Since this is, I've done it once, twice is where I doubled everything. My third ring, I'm going to go a single one. Okay, when I get to this loop, I'm going to do I'm going to do one in this one. Then my next one that comes along, and make sure you keep it flat because it's going to want to move all around. Find your V, get the outer one. I'm going to do two single ones on this one. So in this loop, I'm gonna do two. So one, I'm still in the same one. I haven't moved yet. Two. All right, so I did two in that one because I have to increase. So I go to my next one, which is right here. I'm just gonna do one. So it's gonna be one, two, one, two. So this one's just gonna be one. I move to the next V. And this one's gonna have two in it. Gonna have two in it. Again, I just do it on my fingers, but I also have big hands. So, so this one's one, and this one's two. So I'm gonna do it once, staying in the same hole. I'm gonna do it twice. Go to the next one once. Go to the next V. I'm looking at these V's right all around the edge. I'm gonna do this one's twice. Okay. This one's once. This one's twice. I'm gonna stop and look for my end. Okay, here's my end. So it's right here, so I'm not quite there. I've gotta get all the way to here. I get all the way to there. Okay, that was twice. So I'm gonna go once on this one. Just that outer loop I'm working with right now and two on this one. Don't go all the way through both yet. Just on the outer loop. This will keep it laying flat. All right, I'm back to one. 
This one, I'm going to do two of them in it. There's once. And there's twice. Okay. This one's once. And this one's twice. And this yarn is almost like velvet rope. That's really, honestly, what it is. It's like velvet rope. Okay, where am I? All right. Oop. Okay, now see, here's my, here it is. I went past. So all I'm going to do is go boop, boop. Let me see where it's right here. So I don't need that one. Okay, so I should have ended there. Okay. Again, you have this pretty spiral. Now I'm going to start moving upwards. To get it to start to move up, these V's that you've been working on. Okay, so flatten it all nice out. All of these outer, these V's that you see on the edge, I don't know if you can see them, they're little V's, okay? Instead of just working like we were on one side, this outer side, you're gonna pull it through both. So all of them, pull it through both of them. So I'm gonna keep it on my finger. I'm gonna lift both of these up. And I'm gonna go through it again and then through. You're only gonna do this just all the time is once now. So I'm again reaching through both of these, pulling it through, and I'm doing a single crochet. And you're gonna do this. This is gonna build your wall, so you're gonna be doing it a while, okay? So all I'm doing is lifting both of these up, both, I have two yarns here, lifting them up, looping it over my finger, okay? Keep doing this, and then I will be back after I've done several rows. I wanted to come back for a second. Now this is one time around, and you can see it's gradually starting to cup up a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. It is starting to cup up. And what I do is I kind of press my hands where it's bending, okay? And it's going to start to go up, all right? Because you're going through these two loops, it's drawing your stitch kind of inward and up. Okay, so keep going and I'll be back. Okay, I don't have much left. So to kind of taper it off, what I do is take your yarn, go through the outer loop like you did at the beginning Pull it through, okay, like this. Then on your next one, pull it through, and then wind it around to hide it. And with this yarn, I, I, I don't really don't think you can burn it so you end up having to um, tie it off and then you shape the basket and then what I did with my tail I try to weave it through now before you tie it off here's what you need to decide okay so here's the basket which see this one's taller if I turn this basket inside out, it will end up being taller inside out and it will match this one over here. See how they're the same height now? Okay, so flipping it inside out will make it taller. I'm gonna do that. So I want to hide this tail and then remember that tail I was at the beginning, I'm gonna knot it inside the basket. So I'm gonna do that for both of these. So I'm gonna weave this through so that it's inside. And then I'm just gonna find a loop in here like this, that. Then I did a knot, but on this one, I sewed it and I like it. So 
I just got my needle and thread and I went through both things of yarn and I'll cut off that extra white and just secure it this way instead of having a knot in there. So about three times I don't want that white showing, so I'm going to clip that off a little bit. Okay. And then all I do to tie it off is loop it, bring it down, press my, pinch it so that it makes a knot like that, and I do it twice. And I tie off my yarn. I'm going to just trim that and tuck it right there. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, tuck it there. Now, the one in here that I have in here, I already put a knot on it. And I'm going to weave it through. And it ends up being a good length. And so I think I'm just going to keep it knotted and then trim off the edging, the edge of the, sorry, after the knot, tr tr <laughs> trim off the little fringy stuff at the end that is frayed. And then, I don't know how you do the knot in your yarn. My mom taught me this. You wrap it around your fingertip, then roll it off like this, and then it makes a knot. And then the little extra thread I trimmed off and then my my double string is knotted all right I'm just gonna sew this down so it doesn't come out I sew everything at the end I just don't want I don't like it loose in there so I know some people weave it and leave it weave and leave it but I I, I don't know I just I have to finish it so I sew the ends of everything for mine all right so I sewed that. I'm just going to tie it off like I did the other one by making a knot, pressing down on the knot to keep it tight against it. And trim it off. And there's your basket. And they're so pretty. Um, I'm gonna try this red flame basket, um, this red color, but I'm gonna switch it out like with the like this. And I just knotted the two together. Um, I think I'm gonna do red, and then there's like a cognac, goldy orange color. I'm gonna do like a flame, so red, the cognac, and then they have a real pretty gold color, so. Um, I'm going to have to tuck this somewhere else. It's not wanting to stay. Or I might just trim it off. Knowing me, I'll probably just trim it off. Because I don't like fringy stuff. Yep, I'm going to trim it off. Um, but that's how you make the basket. But, yeah, this yarn's made up of several strands of yarn so it's a little different to work with um, but it's so gorgeous and it it's a sturdy basket I mean it would definitely hold up anywhere um, so that's it side note if any of you have seen this new yarn at Michael's called um, big bold it's just one of the stitch and wins it's like multicolor it has multiple strands but uh, this is the first thing I've made from it I'm gonna try a blanket later this week but for a basket it's really fun um, this is called vintage car and it's gradients of cream like ivory taupe and gray so um, but multi strands so you can't burn it have to tie it and sew it so 
just another option. Okay, bye.